just bleeding another cooling system after doing the coolant flange on the uh, engine. Um, I'm just posting this because a lot of people psych themselves out. Uh, the lower hose is cold, the upper hose is hot, uh, and the needle already shows 90 degrees in the middle or 180 degrees, uh, 180 Fahrenheit in the gauge. Uh, when putting your hand in the radiator, the radiator is still cold, uh, so people start thinking that it's overheating. Well, it's not. Uh, upper radiator hose is hot, lower is cold because the thermostat is still cold. Uh, it's currently 87 degrees, so it still has some time to go, but the thermostat will be slowly opening. Uh, as long as the needle in the dash, in the, 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 the gauge, or the needle in the dash doesn't move uh, to the right, it's perfectly fine, no need to panic. Once it does start to move to the right, that's when you, are, you need to be concerned. At this point, the hose is still cold, radiator is still cold. We're at 88 right now. Usually by the time it's around 90 on the scan tool, um, then you'll start feeling the lower hose getting warm. Uh, the, the dash gauge always shows in the middle much sooner than the actual temperature of the engine. So don't, don't freak yourselves out. As long as the needle is steady, keep the engine running. Once it starts to move to the right, that's when you want to shut it off and check things. Radiator still cold. I'm at 89 right now, 90. So you don't see me panicking yet. The temperature will start to stabilize. It'll stay at around 91 to 92 for quite a while. And that's because the thermostat's opening. And then you got this cold coolant that uh, circulates into the engine. That's why the uh, temperature doesn't rise for a, a period of time. Still at 90 degrees right now. The radiator is warm right here. It's starting to get warm over here. Not quite as hot. Coolant flows across, and then on the lower half, it goes back the other way. So I can start to feel temperature on this side now. That tells me the thermostat's starting to open. And you see it's still, still hovering at 90. It's definitely getting hot on this side and then slowly the uh, bottom corner on this side will get warm as the coolant turns, returns this way and then goes into the thermostat or past the thermostat and usually at around 95 96 is when I see the fans coming on So the lower corner of the radiator is getting warm. The lower hose is slowly getting warm. And the temperature here will start climbing now. It just went down a little bit because again, it's the thermostat's letting the uh, cooler coolant in. But the uh, temperature will start to climb. And then at around 90, 95, 96, the fans usually come on. Yeah, there's some good temperature here. Not as hot as this. This is at least twice as hot as here. Just trying to show you guys uh, 
real-time scenario unedited so the lower hose now is quite warm almost as hot as the upper and you see temperature is climbing now 91 92 Put this on a uh, bigger magnifying lens here. 93. So still no need to panic. The temperature gauge in the in the dash is probably reading uh, 90, steady in the middle. I don't even bother looking at it because I'm I'm monitoring everything like this. 94, 95, the fan should come on any minute, the oh, fan just came on, and 95, 96, a little bit, little bit of a noisy fan in the beginning, but that's okay, we'll make a note of it.